So the main concept was uh, to create this environment where we would only use content introduced by the participants. So there's no pre-recorded sounds or images involved in the piece. We also have these themes of um, fragmentation and uh, restructuring. We wanted to focus on perception and distortion. Um, we used uh, several different um, mirrors, mirror tiles to break the plane up to, to help out with that concept. The concept of the piece was sort of looking at perception and how we view ourselves. We decided to take the mirrors and reflect back like the outward perception that other people have and sort of going back and forth between a person's internal and external perceptions. And we have big mirrors in there to sort of rest in I guess, be calmed in the idea that you understand yourself. We shattered it to sort of break up that idea of a perception. So that, that helps the, the viewer see themselves as they're walking by in that distorted way. And, and we kind of plucked off that a little bit. So as you can see, we have these wires running down into uh, some of these larger mirrors. Uh, and on the inside, there is a surface transducer, which is essentially the, the rudimentary part of a speaker, which turns these mirrors into uh, lo-fi speakers, basically. There's also a contact mic within the piano uh, to pick up any audio played on the piano, and then that's sent to a program written in Max MSP, which then processes the sound and uh, redistributes it into the space. It works with the sound in that, you know, he's taking sounds from the piano and then distorting them and then replaying them back in the space. So it's like a cycle over and over again of an idea and then a distortion. So the nature of the piece is really reflective in a way uh, that it records um, events and activity going on in the space and uh, reinterprets them in a way that the participants are able to kind of examine and learn something about how they're interacting with the installation. Thank mm -hmm. you.